Hey, how you doing? It's Robert Anthony, and uh, I thought I'd give you a little video update. I have spent uh, the last couple of days in a place called the Valley of the Gods. If you're not familiar with it, it is an area in very south Utah, um, near the border of Arizona. I'm 18 miles in, down a dirt road, and I'm staying at the base of a giant, absolutely giant, um, I guess they're called mesas. Um, this area, I, I have to say, I haven't ever seen anything like it. Um, I came in on Saturday, and um, it was busy, uh, but there are dispersed campsites all throughout the area. It's dry camping. Uh, there's no water facilities or anything, but there are just a crap ton of places that you can park your rig and enjoy the views here. Um, so I thought that it would be fun to show you maybe a few of the views that I've had. Uh, the thumbnail, if you look at the thumbnail for this video, you'll see just for scale, uh, I threw the drone up yesterday and took a video of the, uh, well, videos, but then I used a drone to take photos um, of the van. And you'll see it at the lower right hand corner of the thumbnail for this video. Um, and uh, that gives you kind of an idea. These huge things that I'm parked beneath uh, at my campsite. This is actually my campsite. Uh, this huge, these huge uh, mesas are all over the place out here. And behind me, um, back behind where the van is at, it just keeps going. Uh, the road stops here. Um, I'm at the very, what would be the very north end of the road. So if you wanted to get out a map, if you're real curious about where I'm at, if you get out a map and you find the Four Corners area where the four states come together, um, I th think, isn't it um, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico? They all come together in one spot, so it's called Four Corners. And if you find the Mexican hat area, um, that's pretty close to where I'm at. It should show you on your map the Valley of the Gods. And I'm on the road that goes in way deep in the Valley of the Gods, um, on the very far end of it. I've got the campsite. Uh, this is the campsite that everybody wants, and I happen to get it. Um, it actually overlooks the valley. So let me, uh, let me stand up here, and I'll flip this camera around, and I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're, what we're talking about here. So you can see, whoop, oh, sorry about that. I try not to make it go too fast because it hurts the eyes. So let's, uh, Hold on, let me pause. All right, so here's the van. And we're gonna, let me go upward here and kind of show you this giant thing. And the video is, it's hard to give it scale. The photo does a better job because in the video, this thing looks small. It is not small. It is giant freaking gannic. All right, so let's, uh, let's swipe around here. And take a look at this. You can see it. Um, listen, if you're ever in the Southwest, don't miss Valley of the Gods. Somebody wrote on the I Overlander, which is the uh, the camping. It's how I find campsites. They had written, imagine Monument Valley had a much nicer, younger brother. This is what it would be. I think what they mean when they say that is the Monument Valley um, is on the Navajo tribe. It's not a criticism of the Navajo, but from what I'm able to gather, it's uh, it's run uh, pretty rigid. That might be what they meant. And I understand. I, I, uh, I think the Indians, I've met a couple while I'm here, and they, uh, they want to protect their lands. Um, I've seen firsthand being out in the traveling world here, how horribly abusive and disrespectful so many people are that do this van life thing and come to these places that are so special. There's a blatant disregard for the trails and the land and the campsites. Not all. I'd say the vast percentage of people that are, that are doing this are, uh, are respectful and, uh, but there are some, it, you know, it only takes a few to ruin it. It's kind of like with the drone. Um, it only takes a few 
malcontents or people that are misbehaving um, with their drone unit to kind of ruin it for all of us. Um, there's a lack of sensitivity to the people that are around you. Uh, part of the reason that I wanted to drive all the way back here, for example, is I knew that I would be flying the drone. I decided for this video, all of the photography that I've done, all but a few, are done with the drone. The rest I'm actually doing with my phone. I haven't pulled out my main camera rig uh, uh, yet while I've been here. So um, I, I understand why the, uh, the natives, um, I met a, a guy down here, a really nice man. Uh, his name is actually Coyote. And him and I have become friends, and he's educated me some on, you know, the frustration that um, a lot of the people feel that this land is very, like for him, it's very spiritual. Uh, you know, as an example, when we met, um, I had asked him if he was going to be leaving his site because I wanted to fly the drone around, and I didn't know if drones would bother him. And he was very straightforward and said, yeah, I don't, I don't like those things. I mean, I would like to have one, but... He was explaining to me, you know, he goes out into these canyons to pray and to meditate and having those things flying around. It's like I told him, they're like a giant mosquito is what they sound like. Just a humongous mosquito, even at 800 feet up. And I can legally put it up 800 feet because that thing's about 700 feet tall and I can be above the top of that uh, as long as I'm within its radius. Rule for you for the drones. When you're flying, you can only go to 400 feet, but... If you're within 400 feet in a radius of something taller, you can go 400 feet above the tallest object. So like I can get up to a thousand feet easy, um, which is what I did because I was within a 400 foot radius of this, uh, this Mesa. Anyway, even at eight, 900 feet up in the air, you can still hear them. And just like, you know, I just wish they were quieter. I really do because I appreciate the solitude that these places bring and I also appreciate the view that the drone brings. If you're a drone flyer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, well, that's the update. So uh, we're going to call it good. I'm going to move on today. I'm really excited to be doing some Milky Way photography. Uh, if the skies stay clear, and they're supposed to. So I've got a shot that I'm going to get at uh, Natural Bridges, and I'm, I'm quite, quite excited about that. If it works out, that's going to be just killer. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. We're almost to 500 subscribers. Can't believe it. We've gained uh, almost 250 subscribers since I started this trip in, uh, in September. So we're building momentum, and I think that that's really cool. So thanks for subscribing. I appreciate you, and I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this uh, little update from this incredibly special place uh, here in the Valley of the Gods. All right. You take care of yourself. This is Rob. And I'm out, and I'll see you in the next one, so let's do it the right way. I'll see you in the next one. This is Rob. I'm out. See ya.